Yo, what up, what up? It's the Kid CJ City. So we'll be back with a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking about five fall fragrances that just get overhyped time and time and time again. If you guys go out there on YouTube and you look at top 10, top five fall fragrances, these fragrances are gonna always make the list over and over. And me personally, I feel like some of those fragrances are just completely overhyped, man. So we're gonna be talking about those fragrances that just get overhyped. And I'm going to be also suggesting a fragrance that I feel like you should go after, you know, uh, opposed to the one that gets overhyped. So you should leave the one that gets overhyped alone and go for the ones that I'm going to recommend as an alternative. All right. So let's just go ahead and jump into the list. We're going to start off on the fifth fragrance here. And that fragrance is going to come from the house of Catalina Herrera. And that one is going to be called CH Men Privé. All right. So if you guys go out there and you look at these fall lists, autumn lists, CH Men Privé is going to be on there and people are going to claim that you're going to get like this, you know, boozy, leather, you know, sensual, sexual type of fragrance right there, man. You know, some people say it's like a bad boy type of fragrance or something like that. Me, I honestly feel like that fragrance is, it's good, it's okay, but it does not deserve all of the praises and all of the hype that it gets, man. You would almost think that this is going to be one of the best fragrances that you're going to get into you know, when you listen to all the hype, and it's just not like that, man. It's a good fragrance, but a fragrance that I feel like you should go for that is not overly hyped, but should be overly hyped and should get the credit is going to come from the house of BDK Parfums, and that one is going to be called Grease Charnel, all right? This is the bottle right here, and I'm telling you, this is a fragrance that should be getting hyped. It's a fragrance that does not get any hype, but it's deserving of it. So, you know, same thing. It could fit the same occasion as the CH um, Men Privé. This fragrance right here, it's it's basically like this, this fruity, kind of, you know, sweet, but it's not like, like a gourmand sweet or anything like that, but it does have some sweet natures. It does have like this cardamom going on with this fragrance right here, you know, and it's very like nice and cozy, man. I'm really digging this fragrance and I feel like this is a perfect substitute for CH Men. Basically what you get with this fragrance here in the opening is you get like this nice kind of fruity nature and I feel like that's coming from the fig, all right? So you're getting fig in this. You're also getting black tea and I feel like that black tea, it just adds that element of soothing, man. It's just a soothing fragrance. It's almost like the perfect cozy, cuddle, bundle up type of fragrance, or maybe like a bedtime fragrance or something like that. And then you're going to get that cardamom in here. It's not super, super spicy, but it does add an element of like a kick, a little spice to this fragrance. And then also you're going to get some, you know, some iris in this fragrance. So the iris isn't like super lipsticky or anything like that. I feel like the iris cardamom combo that you get in this thing right here, it's really a beauty, man. It's a thing of, of, of beauty, all right? So you guys should definitely go for this and you should check out this fragrance from BDK Parfums. This one is going to be called Grease Charnel. It, it should be taking the place of your CH Men Privé. All the occasions you can think of, this will do the job, all right? So check it out, all right? That's my recommendation. Let's go ahead and go on to the fourth fragrance. This is a fragrance that just gets hyped up time and time and time again, all right? You know, and this one is gonna come from the house of Parfums de Marley, and this one is going to be called Herod, all right? So if you guys go out there, Herod is gonna make a lot of fall lists, all right? And I'm not saying that Herod is a bad fragrance, crappy fragrance, but I'm just saying sometimes fragrances just get so overly hyped. You're just, you're, you're expecting something. Your expectation of that fragrance is exceeding, you know, uh, or it's just excelling through the roof because all these people are hyping up this fragrance. And then when you get it and you try it, it's just kind of like blah, man. And that's kind of how hair it was for me. I feel like it was a fragrance that everybody talked about. Everybody hyped up the fragrance. And it's just an okay fragrance, man. It's all right. It's not bad. You get like this, you know, kind of like this sweet tobacco. It's not like a, a pipe tobacco or tobacco leaf or anything. It's almost like a blonde or a sweet tobacco or something like that. That's what you're getting. And then you have like these elements of like this marshmallow type of vibe to me. That's just my nose. And then for a niche fragrance, sadly, I'm, I'm getting like this, this sharp, kind of harsh, maybe slightly synthetic type of nature to that fragrance, man. I'm going to recommend that you guys go out there and you try, you know, as an alternative to Herod. Because if you guys are going for Herod, 
then you're not your average, you know, you know, uh, type of cologne guy that just wants your typical designer fragrance. You're a fragrance that smells like all these blue fragrances. You seem like one of those guys that are open to something different if you're out there exploring Harry. So if you are that type of person, a fragrance from the house of, you know, Parfums de Marley that I recommend is going to be called Hobdom, all right? This is a fragrance that is not overly hyped, but it is good, okay? Now, this fragrance is not gonna be for everybody. Like I said, if you're exploring, if you're exploring Herod, then you're actually, you know, on your journey and you're just open to different type of fragrances, all right? So this one right here is that different type of fragrance. When you spray this fragrance, you get this nice, fresh, airy apple, you know, that's basically what you're getting here, but it's also accompanied by something that you could kind of feel like it's oud a little bit, but it's definitely not oud. I think it's like coming from like Gayak wood or it's coming from the wood or, or I think it's frankincense or something in here and saffron and I think it might be a little incense or something like that, but it's like all of these things that can kind of come off like it's oud, but it's not oud, all right? So it's just a little different, but it's accompanied by this airy, fresh apple, and then you get a little tiny, tiny touch of sweetness that's gonna come from the caramel in this fragrance, all right? So it's not a uber sweet fragrance, like, you know, a uber car caramel type of fragrance, but that caramel is just there, and it's very subtle. It plays the background to that fresh apple and like that woodsy accord. I'm telling you, man, Hobdom is something you guys should check out. It's something that's not overly hyped like Herod is, and I feel like this should take the place of Herod, and you guys should go out there and check out Hobdom instead, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to the third fragrance. This is another fragrance that just gets hyped up. You guys will swear this is one of the best tobacco vanilla fragrances on the market, you know, the way that people talk about this fragrance. And this one is gonna come from the house of Tom Ford, and this one is going to be called Tobacco Vanille, okay? So a lot of people hype up this fragrance. They talk, you know, a lot about this fragrance. And when you get this fragrance, I'm telling you, at least me, you're gonna be disappointed because you're gonna think you're getting like this vanilla and tobacco fragrance. And if you explore vanilla, you explore tobacco, you kind of already have like this uh, taste or your palate is kind of already familiar with those typical tobacco, those typical vanilla fragrances. And Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, it goes completely different, man. It goes like, the darkest version of tobacco, the darkest version of vanilla that you can get, man. Like, imagine like chocolate, but like a dark chocolate or something like that. It's not like that milky chocolate that you're used to. That's the way that they take that fragrance. Very dark, man. Very earthy. Very like, ah, uh, I don't want to say dirty, but yeah, it's like dirty, man. You know, so if you're into those type of fragrances, then that's what you're going to get. But if you want that nice tobacco, if you want that sweet vanilla, then a fragrance that I would have to recommend in its place is going to come from the house of 1821 Man Made. And that one is going to be called Sweet Tobacco. All right. So this one right here, I sold my bottle, man. I know I had a full bottle. You know, I did have it just recently. I actually had the bottle maybe about four months ago or something like that. But the fragrance was so goddamn strong that I just felt like I was never going to go through a 100 ml, you know, bottle. So I actually sold the bottle to somebody who actually really, really wanted the bottle. I hooked them up on a really good price. I just got me a little decant here because this thing is going to last a very long time. Literally, I just do one spray on the back of my neck and that's it, all right? You know, if I'm going outdoors, if I'm gonna be, you know, somewhere where I wanna project a lot, I just do one spray in the back, one spray in the front, and that's it. So this decant is gonna, you know, last me a long time. But basically what you get with this fragrance is that tobacco, is that vanilla that you're seeking, man. This tobacco, is a nice sweet tobacco, man. I feel like in, in the opening, you're gonna get like this cognac type of vibe. So you get like this kind of liquor cognac type of vibe, but it's also there with that tobacco. And this tobacco is nice and sweet, but it's also like a nice tobacco leaf as well, man. So it's kind of giving you that tobacco pipe, tobacco leaf type of vibe, but it's accompanied by that cognac is also accompanied by, you know, sweetness that's coming from honey and it's also coming from like some exotic fruits 
they don't list what fruits that are actually in the fragrance, but you're getting that, man. So you're getting that sweet tobacco. You're getting like that tobacco leaf type of vibe. You're also getting cognac. You're getting that, you know, fruity nature as well. That's, you know, attributing to that sweetness. And then also in the dry down, you're getting a nice vanilla. I'm telling you, 18, 1821 man-made sweet tobacco is definitely something that should be taking the place of Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, in my opinion. So you guys should go out there and try this instead, all right? Let's go ahead and move on to the second fragrance on this list right here. We're getting down to some stuff that's going to piss some people off, you know, quite frankly. They're going to be, they're going to be looking at this video and they're going to be trying to, you know, Google uh, CJ City. They're going to be trying to find my government name. They're going to be trying to find my address. They're going to want to come see me after I talk about these fragrances, all right, man? The second fragrance on this list is going to be Spice Bomb Extreme. Yeah, I said it, man. Spice Bomb Extreme is an overly hyped fragrance, man. And I feel like it's overly hyped because it should not match the hype or the praise that the fragrance gets, all right? To, quite, frank, quite frankly, I like Spice Bomb, the original, way better than I do Spice Bomb Extreme. But everybody talks about Spice Bomb Extreme. This one is more creamy, this one is more smooth, this one has more vanilla, da da da. That thing to me, mm -mm, man, in the opening, I feel like it's just a mess, bro. Like you're getting like the, this, this bad synthetic type of vibe. And then even in the dry down, no, it doesn't feel more creamy to me. It does feel like, you know, they probably beefed up maybe the vanilla or something like that. But like the spices, I feel like the spices are toned down a little bit. It just doesn't work for me, man. And I feel like that fragrance is extremely overhyped. People should just be talking about Spice Bomb, the original, if you're going to talk about Spice Bomb. So let's just go ahead and remove Spice Bomb Extreme. I know, I know, man. They coming for me in the comments. But we're going to have to replace Spice Bomb Extreme with a fragrance that I'm going to recommend. And this one isn't it, it extreme cheapy, man, but it's just way better and it kind of gives me the same vibe. And this one is going to come from the house of Cremo. And this one is going to be called Spice and black vanilla, all right? So this is a fragrance I feel like you should actually be wearing over Spice Bomb Extreme. This one, it's not overly hyped, all right? Spice Bomb Extreme is gonna be on every single list. It's overly hyped. This fragrance was talked about, yes, but I don't feel like it's just hyped and just overly hyped, all right? So we're, keep that in mind. These are fragrances that are overly hyped. This fragrance, I don't feel like it's overly hyped. You might've heard of it, but trust me, give it a chance because it is a good fragrance. In the opening, same thing with Spice Bomb Extreme. It's gonna be a synthetic mess, I'm sorry, man. This is a cheapie. They're probably using very cheap aroma chemicals when they're actually composing this fragrance. So, beware, the opening is gonna be a synthetic mess. It's gonna be very harsh, but let that thing dry down for about five to 10 minutes, then you're gonna get like this nice spicy, you know, a Spice Bomb vibe. That's basically what you're gonna get but it's, it has like this bourbon type of vibe to me, man. It's almost like there's bourbon mixed into this thing. So it's like, imagine Spice Bomb with like bourbon, you know, or, or some sort of liquor type of vibe. You know, that's basically what I'm getting here. And then that vanilla starts to kind of rear its head, man. And that vanilla is a nice, sweet vanilla. It's not like uber creamy or anything like that. It doesn't remind you of like a vanilla, you know, milkshake or ice cream, but it's a sweet vanilla and that vanilla is there. So I'm telling you, basically just imagine Spice Bomb the original with kind of like added bourbon and added vanilla. That's basically what you're getting with this. And I feel like this fragrance should definitely be taking the place of Spice Bomb Extreme. That's just my recommendation, all right? So let's go ahead and move on to the number one hyped up fragrance when it comes to these fall, when it comes to these autumn lists and things of that nature. And that one, sadly, man, I know, man, I should be wearing a bulletproof vest for this because they are gonna be coming for me, I'm telling you. This is going to come from the house of Replica and this one is going to be by the fireplace. I know, come on city, how dare you say something like that, man? How dare you put by the fireplace on an overly hyped you know, list? But I'm telling you, I feel like that fragrance is just overly hyped, man. It's, it's all right, all right? But the way they make that fragrance 
you know, uh, feel like it's going to be is like this nice, cozy fragrance that you want to just be by the fireplace and, you know, you just want to cuddle up with somebody. You want to throw on, you know, a little blanket or something like that by the fireplace. Nah, this thing feel like, you know, you done lit up too much goddamn wood and this fire is just going crazy. You need to go get you a goddamn fire extinguisher and put something out, man. That smoky, that incense nature, it's too much, man. It's too much, bro. Like, I don't really enjoy the smokiness when it comes to that fragrance. It's too like photorealistic of something that's burning, man. And it gets on my nerves, honestly. And I don't know, man, people really, really enjoy that fragrance. But to me, smoke is not, it's too much. You know, in the dry down, it starts to get better, but the smoke is still there, bro. And the, the smoke, it just, it's too photorealistic and I'm not, I'm not digging it, man. It just doesn't vibe with me, all right? So a fragrance that I would have to recommend in place of by the fireplace, it's gonna come from the house of Armani, and that one is going to be called Stronger With You Intensely. Make sure you guys go out there and you get the Intensely version, all right? Because this one, I feel like, is the perfect balance between everything, man. You kinda get like a smoky element to it, but it's not a photorealistic smokiness. It's just kinda vibes that you're getting like, oh, something's kinda smoky here, man. And I don't even really know what it's coming from. It might be coming from the combination of like pink pepper, you know, the violet leaf in here, you know, maybe those two things playing together is kind of giving off like this smoky nature, but you're getting that. Trust me, you are getting some of that in the opening. And then you're, you're also getting, you know, some sweetness from, you know, the cinnamon. You're also getting like this toffee type of note. I think there's chestnut in here, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just that toffee. You know, you're getting amber and vanilla with this as well. So that's kind of giving you like this nice, like not creamy, but like this sweet, smooth type of nature, sweetness. And then you get a little smoky incense type of vibe, man. It's almost, it, you guys remember like those those little uh, incense sticks that you used to get from like the, the beauty salon or people out on the street selling them things. You light an incense, you know, stick and it is smoky, but it still has this nice aroma as well, man. It's not like a goddamn wood that's just burning, all right? So I feel like that's what you're getting with this fragrance. And this is a perfect fragrance to take the place of replica by the fireplace, all right? So those are my fragrances that get overly hyped. And these are fragrances that don't get much hype at all that you can do a quick swap, man. So if you guys were interested in those fragrances, I feel like you should give these fragrances a try because they are going to be a little different and they're not going to be as hyped, all right, man? So if you guys have tried any of these fragrances, if you guys have tried the fragrances that I feel like are overhyped, leave those comments down below. Let the people know if I'm on track or if I'm just out of my mind, man, because like I say, I'm just little old CJ City, man. This is just my opinion here, okay, man? So drop those comments down below. Let's talk about it. But you already know what it is. I'm CJ City. I'm signing out until next time. I appreciate all the love here, man. Peace.